Hello and welcome to the Never Lose Your Nerd Channel. I'm Brandon. And I'm Ishmael. Today we're going to do a video over... We're doing a video over the PS5, which looks amazing. So and let's get into the video. Yeah. Yeah, this video is going to be a little bit more for him because I'm Xbox all the way till I die. And he's... I'm PS4. I mean, the PS and X. He's kind of in the middle. He, he's cheating on Xbox. That's not true. Actually, turns out that Xbox is basically my home station, you know? That's like where I'm in all, normally where I'm going to get all my games. That's like his wife and then the PlayStation is his like wife. his mistress. Yeah. His girlfriend. His girlfriend. Hey, 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 my voice cracked. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you think about it? Well, to be honest with you, it looks very futuristic if you really read my notes. It's like very futuristic, you know? Like, it's a solid state drive. PS5 is a solid state drive. It supports a capacity up to 100 gigabytes. Is that a lot? I don't know. I guess I should have looked up what the Xbox One X says. And the new game sequels that are going to come out to it, bro, are going to be Spider Man and Resident Evil 8 and Horizon Forbidden West. What is it? It's Resident Evil 8 and Horizon Forbidden West. Is that uh that's racing game, right? No. No Horizon? That's her this is that's Forza. I was this is Forza Horizon. Forza is for Xbox. Horizon is basically it's it's like a I don't know. I'm gonna look up the Xbox One X spec. I had the Xbox One X. Oh my had god, the it's the Xbox it's One the X. best. So basically Back to the question that you asked me. I really like the blue color on it, you know? Uh, oh, it's white, right? Yeah, but it has blue LED in it. Mm -hmm. I really like the white, but the thing is, it'll get dirty. The controller is awesome. Like, straight awesome. The way it has... The layout is still the same a little bit, kind of, with the joysticks and all that. Are you sure that... And the that... buttons and the shell... What? The shell is different. It's kind of like an Xbox controller, if you really think about it. Are you sure that supports a capacity up to 100 gigabytes? Because a One X is only 12 gigabytes RAM. And there's no way it's that much more. Why okay. would I be lying? I'm going to research this, too. While you go ahead and go through more of your notes. Yeah. And it looks like the Xbox controller... Xbox? Yeah, it looks like the Xbox controller if you really Oh, it does. Okay. Um, let me see. Gigabytes. Memory interface. Oh, 16 gigabytes. Um, Internal storage is 825 gigabytes SSD. Yeah, that's the SSD card. That's a solid state drive. That's the hard drive card. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh. No, you said gigabytes. Well, up to 100. The PS5 uses a solid state drive support of a capacity of 100 gigabytes. This is 825. <gasps> hey, he didn't do his good research. <laughs> well, well, let's just, let's just pretend we scratch that off and just put 125. Mm. Okay, and who cares about that, man? It's kind of like my computer, because I have 16 gigabytes, and then I have 66 bit. I don't know if I have And the one. cool thing is that it looks like it, it's like very symmetrical if you really look at it. It's like so many bins. I wonder if they're going to have a, like Xbox where you can lay it down, which I'm sure you have No, to. the new Xbox, you're not going to be able to lay it down. It's a freaking... You have to be able it's to. It's a rectangle. What's the 3D version of a rectangle? Zoom? A prism. Try it. No. Yeah, you got me stumped there. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, because, you know, like me, I have a TV stand, and it's easy to put the Xbox oh, down on the bottom and lay it down. You can either stand it up or lay it down. Rectangle. It's much easier to be able to lay it down. Because if you can only stand it up, you'd have to put it on the side or something. It'd be weird. And the cool thing about the Xbox, the new Xbox, is going to have LED green in it. A three-dimensional art, it's a, right, it's a rectangular prism. Bam. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so the Xbox, the new Xbox is going to be a rectangular prism. It's going to be a box. Like, it's going to be an actual box. It's going to look like a freaking computer. No, it's not. Very powerful. It's going to be a box. Okay. Okay, yeah, so the thing that I'm really looking forward to is the sequel to Spider-Man, the Miles Morales one. Mm -hmm. I legit want to play it. But I'm too fat. So, yeah, and the controller, back to the controller, it has, like, the senses, because I watched this video of the PS5, of, like, when, what's that called, show off thing, and they were, like, telling you all the information of it, and I watched, like, the whole two hours of it, <laughs> but we're yeah. not gonna get into that. Um, so, yeah, the way that they were explaining it is that it's gonna have, like, whenever you're walking on snow... It's mm-hmm. gonna be hard to like move the joy cons to have the real feel of it. Right. And then whenever you shoot a gun in the game, you're gonna feel everything of the gun. Yeah, it's got the weather kind of like gears. Kind of has the uh, weather affection. I know, right? What? What if they actually had gears for the PS Five and you actually got to play in that? That'd field? be weird if they had like little vents and stuff, or like if it was blowing cold, like it would blow in your face or something. Like a torch. <laughs> You can put water in it and like spray you in the face with water. That'd be weird. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm pretty sure that'll make a, a good money. Probably have that one day in the future. But the cool thing is that the PS5, whenever you really look at it, it's different than all the other consoles. The PS4 was just black. There was no really white variants. Only if you got like the, uh, what's it called? I'm having mm-hmm. a brain fart. Um, classic car. Yeah, and I thought I was the one with the memory issues. It's when it's like the limited edition ones. There we go. You got it. When it's like limited edition, they only have certain colors for it. No. Yeah. The cool thing is, if you really look at the PS3, it wasn't really. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I don't have much to say. Like I said, I'm Xbox all the way. I really don't care about PlayStation at all. I've only played it a couple times. Like when I've then with people who only had PlayStations and we played FIFA or something, but no, I'm definitely Xbox all the way. Cool thing is that everybody says that the Xbox 360 con- the controller, the vertical ones, when it was like, like that, people said that was the most comfortable controller. I like all the controllers. I really don't. <laughs> but which one do you like the most? The new Xbox controller or the old one? I don't know. The other one, was, I think, was a little bit too big. I like the ones now when I get the thumb grips, makes them more comfortable because I think the joysticks are a little bit too small for me. So I get the thumb grips, mm-hmm. and it's perfect. Well, I need thumb grips because my, my thumb grips are coming out. Yeah, the bad thing about the thumb grips is they don't last that long. They're not very durable. No, they're not. But I guess that's all I have to say. And the price is probably like $500. Nah, it'd be closer to 600 If you want the top of the line, like I got the Xbox One X, which had the hard drive built in. Wireless controllers, that ran a good $600. PlayStation 5 is going to be at least $600. It's going to come exactly, it's going to come with the controller and everything. It's just going to come with the controller, the battery, and then the console. Well, they're going to have different variations. Like with the 1X, they had the 1S, and then they had the 1X. The 1S was the cheaper one with the wired controller and didn't have as much storage space. And because 1X is like a terabyte. I had actually, two terabytes, the actually. Xbox One came out, then the Xbox One S came out, and then the Xbox One X came out, and then the Xbox One X Scorpio Edition before the Xbox X. No, that's the one I have is the Scorpio Edition is the One X. The new one coming out is going to be the Scarlet. So that'll be the one that probably come out next year. I don't think it's going to come out this year because PlayStation's coming out, so I think they don't want to go head up against them. So I think they'll probably wait till next year to come out. Yeah, because actually. Xbox and PlayStation, they're friends now. So, I mean, we should all get along. We're all, we all love video games. I mean, if one prefers another one, it's fine. Yeah, so now they're going to do cross-play. Yeah, some games do that now, cross-platform, like PC, PlayStation, and Xbox players can play, like, all the same games at the same time. And Nintendo Switch, too. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah, instead, I know you're looking forward to Spider-Man Miles Morales. You didn't talk about Resident Evil, did you? Yeah, yeah, I did. Resident Evil Eight. I don't really, I don't even, I really don't like the Resident Evil games. Yeah, they're kind of boring. I don't know. 
I really hope they remake a game called The Suffering. That one came out on the original Xbox, I believe. That game was so scary. Why don't we just play it in the Xbox 360? We have it. Mm. I don't think we can. No, it came out in the like the one before that. Xbox before that. Really? Yeah. No, it's not. Like the original Xbox. Now that's old. All righty, then. Well, I guess that's it. Well, tell us what you think of it. If you're at Team Xbox, if you're Team PlayStation, let us know. Are you just in the middle? Yeah, or you like both. If you're just a PC or whatever, Nintendo Switch, you like Nintendo, let us know. All right. If you would, please like the video. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell for notifications. And one thing, don't lose your nerdy. Yes, never lose your nerd. Stay nerdy. Bye.